My name is Gary James Hackler. I have 15 years experience with metal stud framing. Today we're going to have a side-by-side -side demonstration with the Pro-X header versus the conventional framing buildup. For this side-by-side -side demonstration, we are presenting a time-lapsed video with a production counter. Keep your eye on the bottom right corner for the time elapsed and the top for the installed header count. Todd Brady, the inventor, will be providing comments during the installation process. Hi, it's Todd Brady. Yeah, we had a great time putting this project together. The guy on the left-hand side is laying out for welds or strapping of the 2 inch and 5 8 studs. You see the guy on the back left is starting to cut up his five-piece assembly materials, cut his tabs on it. We have John on the right installing Prox header clips. As you can see, John now has about six clips up on the Prox header side. He's preparing his openings. On the Prox side, John is now laying out and getting ready to cut the Prox header. You can see the chop saw cuts through it quite easily. It only requires one cut as opposed to the belt up traditional side has multiple cuts. So as you can see here, we have one man able to install over a seven foot long Prox header. At 12 minutes, his first header goes in. The guys on the left are still assembling their header they're using multiple screws. Uh, they're attaching their clips. At 15 minutes in, John is completely finished with the first header and is installing the second one. Meanwhile, in traditional side, one man is still assembling the header and the other man is attaching angle clips to install the header on. Keep your eye on the counter because we're coming up at 24 and a half minutes here and the third header is now installed. On the left hand side, two men have uh, was needed to install this belt up assembly. It's quite heavy. The Prox header is about 40% less in weight. So it's easier to install with one guy. Notice the overlap of material there where the traditional system builds up. On the traditional header, it requires multiple screws and creates a build up overlap on the jam studs, which not only takes the framer more time to work the system, but also prevents or slows down the drywaller and the taper on the following trades. So the cutter on the uh, left hand side is going to go back and start preparing and assembling and cutting up the second header. Meanwhile on the ProX side we are installing the final clips on the last two headers. We lost the power on this project for a few moments. You can see how it got dark and now it goes back on. Temporary delay the guys were able to keep working. We're now 36 minutes in and the guys on the traditional side have just completed their first header while John is close to finishing his fourth.
not only did the lights go out for momentarily on this project, but uh, John also broke a chop saw blade, uninstalled it, reinstalled a new blade, and still got the performance of five headers in 40 minutes. This was our first run at this, unstaged. It was amazing how we got five to one, one and a half. These, these guys were amazed on how fast they got or how badly they got beat. As you can see, the Prox header system outperformed the traditional system five to one, using only one journeyman versus two journeymen. That's a significant improvement over the old traditional method. Prox header smoked the competition. 